What up, family? It's your boy, Mike Macklin, a.k.a. Money Mike, the financial Thanos, because I'm snapping my fingers and I'm turning your financial problems to dust. Hey, I want to welcome you guys to the page. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Definitely appreciate it. Um, to introduce myself real quick, if y'all don't know me, my name is Michael Macklin. I go by Money Mike. I am a personal financial coach, and um, I specialize in a very simple five-step financial freedom strategy. If you want to learn more about that, I want you to visit my website, www.moneymike313.com. You can actually book yourself an absolutely free appointment. We'll talk about your situation and get you on the right side of the money. And if this is your first time checking out my page, please consider subscribing to me on YouTube and also hitting the notification bell. Follow me. Um, leave a comment below with your thoughts on um, what I got going on. And also go ahead and hit that love button. I would definitely, definitely appreciate that. And it definitely helps me out. So today, as every single Monday, what I do is what's called Money Monday. And this Monday, I actually came across an article that was very interesting to me. And so what I want to do is I want to share it with you all get you all's thoughts and we're going to have a good time with this thing. So the article is talking about um, older Americans are turning to crypto to make up for retirement shortfalls. As you guys know, crypto or cryptocurrency, which is basically a digital type of currency is really making a lot of noise in the news as of late. Um, it is basically a digitized form of currency that is being, you know, um, put out there into the masses we're trying to see if we're going to make this thing shake and a lot of older people are looking to this as a way to maybe get in on a wave to make up for some of their retirement shortfalls maybe make a quick dollar real quick and make things happen but without any further ado we're actually going to read into this it's saying it's a four minute read the article was actually written about almost a week ago but i found it very interesting so i'm gonna share it with you all so again, some older Americans turn to crypto to make up for retirement shortfalls. Uh, let's get into it. As retirement age approaches for baby boomers and generation Xers, the reality of under saving is setting in and some are looking towards cryptocurrency to make up for lost time. According to data from a platform that allows crypto investments for retirement accounts, um, there's the growth and return rates that are appealing to older folks who are looking to catch up um, or grow out and scale their retirement planning. So the goal of it is to kind of quickly get this thing going for themselves. Um, half of Bitcoin's IRA users base is 55 and up, according to data exclusively shared with Yahoo Money. With over three quarters of its 100,000 users are over age 45. Okay, um, so... We got the older cats in the game here. Given crypto's ability to capture headlines as prices boom and bust, these investors are looking for sizzle and excitement that old guard investment vehicles like 401ks, IRAs, and stocks don't offer. They also want a more hands-on approach with their investments instead of, instead of simply selecting mutual funds or index funds and um, from an, um, an employer's retirement plan menu. They're looking for something a little more individualistic. They're looking to have a little bit more control and do different things. Many are also looking for ways to fill in short gaps in their retirement savings. The median retirement savings for those between 45 to 55 is $82,600, while it's $120,000 for those closest to retirement between 55 and 64, according to PwC's Retirement in America report. What they have saved will afford them like $1,000 a month actual cash while they're in retirement. PwC is U.S. asset and wealth management leader who noted that's not enough. Um, that's where crypto comes in, especially in a year when Bitcoin's value jumped 120% from the first of the year to mid-April and other digital coins enjoyed similarly meteoric, meteoric rises. Um, Vicus Agrawal, PwC's financial crime unit leader, cautions against seeing cryptocurrency as easy money solely based on its explosive growth, he said. 
Risk is associated with every investment and an investment in crypto is far from a sure fire win. For instance, Bitcoin's value has fallen 50% since mid April. For that reason, financial professionals discourage going all in on one particular investment, especially one so volatile among the rising asset classes, cryptos hype to a fast moving stock that's quickly gaining momentum in the market. Some investors are probably going a bit, a little bit too far uh, with regard to looking at crypto as a way to make up for having more money in my retirement plan. Allocation should ultimately come down to a portfolio's risk before the introduction of crypto. Investors with portfolios with a lot of high risk assets should keep a smaller investment in crypto. Those with a lower risk portfolio could likely withstand a higher percentage of the asset. Um, even for even for us all incorporated a 401k provider which recently allowed its retirement savers to invest in crypto caps the allocation of to crypto at five percent of portfolio balances to shield investors from taking on too much risk um for those interested in crypto agarwal recommended sticking with coins that are well known and well established like bitcoin and ethereum on the other side, I think there are investors that are pro that probably aren't as invest as educated on the risk. He said, mentioning hefty transaction fees, federal income taxes levied on gains, and extreme price volatility. Volatility. Excuse me. Another misconception for the average investor is conflating stocks with cryptos. For a passive investor, the daily market and volume movement of crypto isn't the right fit. If the wild price swings happen outside of market hours, it could get challenging to trade them and it can be challenging to divest them. He said retirement accounts aren't usually things that people are day trading against and cryptos are. OK, so um, I found this very interesting and for a lot of reasons. Um, the main reason is because, like the article says, a lot of our older folks are looking to to get, a, uh, you know, that quick buck, they're behind on their savings and, you know, crypto, they're, they basically taking advantage of the hype. They want to get that quick money. But the problem with quick money again, and the problem with investing in something that's just kind of getting started is you don't know which way it's going to go. So to my older investors, um, realistically speaking, it's, it's kind of a risk thing. Um, something that was mentioned was they want more control and yes investing in cryptocurrency does give you a little bit more control in a sense because it allows you to kind of you know again invest in which cryptocurrency you want however again you're at the mercy of whether or not you know this particular currency takes hold whether it goes through all the tests and everything like that and honestly me honestly speaking i don't think is the best thing to do index fund is is kind of my my go-to is kind of the safest thing if you're if you're late in the game again and you willing to take the risk i mean i, I say do what you got to do but a better thing is you know to kind of have smarter financial strategies on just get some of that debt paid off that you have so maybe you know that small amount of savings that you have goes a little bit further so that would be my advice now again if you if you are well versed in crypto maybe you believe in it you think it's going to do something and you understand how to invest by all means you know do what you feel is best but again money mike's thoughts on this is i wouldn't do it i would again i would get rid of some debt and put myself in position with whatever i do have that i can work with it Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. What do you guys think? What would you do if you were in this situation? Or what are you currently doing? Maybe some of my people that's watching is in that situation and y'all thinking maybe, you know, maybe this crypto thing might be the move for you. Um, let me know what you all think. Again, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Definitely, definitely would appreciate a like as well as a comment and share this. If you were watching me on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, you know, hey, go ahead and share it as well. Check me out, subscribe to me and hit that notification bell. This has been Money Mike with Money Mondays. I hope you all enjoyed it. And as always, I love you. God loves you. He smiles when he sees you and he sees you all the time. So he's always smiling. So why aren't we? 
hey you guys have a great one thank you so much for tuning in once again don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll catch you guys on the next one god bless you all Gone. Damn, I ain't been broken a minute.